everyone, it is Michelle, your Chocolate Tour Independent Designer. We are gonna make a fun pillow, and I even wanna use one of our new products. So um, stay tuned and say hi as you come in, you guys. I'm so excited to do this ink project with you guys. Welcome to my live. I am so excited that you're able to join me. We are gonna have so much fun. Say hi as you come in so I know that you're here. If you are new and are not currently working with a designer, please just comment the word newbie and I will make sure to send you some Chocotour information. If you're watching the replay, hi. So what is Chocotour? We are a fun high-end DIY home decor company used to make different gifts and decorations from your home on a budget. So Chocotour has so many fun products. We have our Chalkology Chalk Paste, which is great for chalkboards where you can design and repeat as much as you like. We also have Couture Ink, so you can make permanent on fabrics or glass or ceramics. We have hundreds of reusable silkscreen transfers, lots of fun tools, and a full assortment of different surfaces for all of your projects. You wanna make sure you join my Chalkaholic VIP group. This is where there's so much more fun and there's specials. You can also sign up for a workshop. I love to hold workshops and share my love of Chalk Couture. We also have Club Couture. This is a fun mail subscription where you get an exclusive transfer and chalk paste sent to your home every month for the low price of $19.99. You can also host your own private party, get your friends and family together and make your own projects. You can also become a designer and start your own empire. There's so many different ways with Chalk Couture to make money. If you are excited about any of these things, please just send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So don't forget, in my Chocoholic VIP group, if you post a picture of your finished project, you'll be entered in a drawing for a free transfer every month. How exciting is that? So without further ado, let's go on and let's chalk this project. Thank you so much for helping me and Hi everybody. Hi Sherry. Hey Debbie. Debbie, I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. Girl, how are you? I hope you don't get in trouble. Do you get in trouble from joining from work? I hope not. I hope not. I hope everybody's having a great hump day. Um, I want to do something different this time. We've been doing a lot of chalk projects and I wanted to go ahead and do a Hello. So as you guys know, we have our uh, Chalkology Chalk Paste, which is perfect for our chalkboards, our wood. Um, you can put it on galvanized metal. You could put it on your dishwasher. You can do your refrigerator, your windows. Wouldn't it be amazing to use that glow in the dark paste and put bats in your windows? Make sure you pick that Gone Batty kit. Um, or if you were interested in joining my virtual workshop, just comment workshop here. I will send you more information, but you know, you get that glow in the dark paste in that kit. That's so much fun. We are gonna do a Halloween pillow today. I know this is a back to school event, but back to school means fall is here and it is July, almost August. Time to think about our Halloween, right? So we wanna make a pillow. Look at this pattern. This pattern um, retired and um, they brought it back. So this is called um, School Damask Pattern. I love it. Um, oh, yay, Debbie. Good, 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 good. Debbie's interested in the workshop. Um, so yes, this is the pattern we're gonna do. And we're gonna put it on one of our Chalk Couture Square pillows. Now, you get a two pack when you get the, um, hey, Vanessa, when you get the pillows, you get a two pack, just like this. Um, all right, and, Chalk Couture has a brand new product. They are fabric, well not fabric, kind of. They are um, canvas patches. They come in two different sizes. This is um, the larger one and then we have a smaller one. But I I wanna do, isn't it cool looking, Sherry? I um, never got a chance to use mine and I was like, oh, I hate showing things in lives because people see it and they're like, I want that. And I wasn't able to get them one. So now I can. This is why when transfers are about to retire, 
grab it up, okay? So let's get started, let's get started. What you need to ink is a little different than what you need to chalk. So I have this ink mat, okay? We have two different sizes. We have the square one that fits perfectly with our square pillow. And then we have one that fits our lumbar pillow perfectly. Let me show you our lumbar pillow. Here is a Christmas pillow that I made. I love it. And what is so cool about it is once you heat set your pillow, um, you can wash the cover in the washing machine. So you can make t-shirts, towels, pillows, tote bags is one of my favorite things. Um, wouldn't this pattern make a great tote bag? Um, and then on the patch, I also wanted to use a transfer that was from um, last year that they also brought back. Let me show you this transfer. Remember this one, it's called Enter If You Dare. And I love that little October 31st in the top right. Um, my transfer is used. I haven't even gotten my order from our new launch. It's supposed to come on Friday, which is making me a little crazy because I do work Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. But this is my last weekend stretch, um, and then I go to my part-time schedule in August. So look how cute this is. This is on our wood blocks. So this transfer has those three different parts, and we're just going to use that October 31st that's up in the top. So let me... Um, let me share my screen with you. If you are watching the replay, just hashtag replay so I know you came. Um... And then we are going to go ahead and check this out. What I need your help with is colors. You guys know me. It was up to me. I'm going to make that skull pattern in gray on my pillow. And then I'm going to pop this with um, another color. So tell me what colors you think this would go good as. And um, I'm going to see if I have it in ink. Now, you can chalk on these pillowcases if you want to, but you can't wash it. So inking is where it's at if you want permanent. I'm gonna open the zipper to this, okay? And I always try to orient it where I want that tag to be. So I like the um, zipper at the bottom for that stuffing. And then what this ink mat does is it keeps your fabric that you're inking on nice and taut because look, it is sticky, it's very sticky. Um, but it also adds that layer in between so you don't get any bleeding of your ink onto the other side. Like I don't want the ink to go through this pillowcase. I want it to um, have this barrier. So I'm just gonna put my, um, going to put my ink mat in and watch how it just kind of grabs this pillowcase. Dun, dun, dun. And then I can just smooth it out. So you don't have to iron it because this ink mat is going to hold it for you. Hi, Julie. And if you don't have an ink mat, don't you fret. You can use a piece of cardboard. Look how sticky this is. You can use a piece of cardboard if you want to. How's vacation, Julie? Julie's at the beach. Um, I'm just trying to get this where I want it. It's so sticky that it's, there we go. Just gonna go like this to get it nice and straight on there so that the ink goes on nice and smoothly. And it just holds it on there. So the cardboard is good. It will give you that barrier, but it's not gonna hold it down for you like this. Um, you want it to be nice and taut so that you don't get any air bubbles. Remember, bubble is trouble. There we go. There we go, just like this. Okay, so now we have our pillowcase that is nice and stuck to our ink mat. Ta-da! And let's get that Halloween pattern. Oh, you come home tomorrow. Well, it sounds like you have a fun weekend ahead though, at least, Julie. Not that I'm all in your business. <laughs> Now, you guys have probably seen me in other videos do what I call the fuzz. That's when I take our fuzzing cloth and you try to make your transfer a little less sticky. You don't wanna do that when you are inking. Hey, Deanna, you don't wanna do that when you're inking because you want this bad boy to stick on there. So 
I um, did not do anything different with this pillowcase. I will tell you guys that I have dyed them with Rit Dye. I have all this Rit Dye and I haven't dyed any. Like here's a red pillowcase that I did um, with Rit Dye of Chocotour. Um, so you can dye the pillowcases if you want to, um, but the color is nice and pretty too. So we are gonna take our transfer and th these D-size transfers fit our, um, our pillows perfectly. If I can get this off of here. So we just need to think about colors. Normally I just run my finger over and I can separate this from the backer, but because we are live, it is sticking. There we go. So what I like to do is I'm going to just peel it halfway down like this. You don't want to stick your sticky to the sticky, okay? Just like this. Um, well, if you guys... Maybe we'll put this on and then I'll show you the colors that I do have. And you guys, maybe that'll give a nicer selection. Okay. And then I'm going to kind of flip this. So half of it is still on that backer because I don't want to stick the sticky to the sticky. I want to be careful when I stick this down. Okay. And then I'm just going to put this all on here. And then I'm going to roll. See how I'm rolling that backer sheet? This is making sure I have good... Hush, that's my um, heat press over here, just like this. We have some cool tools too. This is one of our four inch handled squeegees that I'm gonna use just to adhere on here. can see that some of um, this in the bottom is not as sticky as I want to. So there's a high chance of <laughs> bleeding at the bottom. This isn't, like I said, it's a pretty old transfer. One thing that you can do that I like to do is take a disinfectant wipe. And it's also because where that zipper is, it's bumpy, so it's not getting a good adherence. But sometimes I'll just wipe the back of my transfer with a little bit of um, disinfectant wipe. And also you just want to make sure that when you are inking, you don't go in a bunch of different directions. Hey, Teresa, to get it underneath those air bubbles. You just want to kind of go straight down. That's one tip that they give you. There you go. Or you could tape it off and just try not to go over those bumpy areas. Okay. We are going to try our best here. So let's talk about colors for this. I do have some shimmers. I have a copper. Mm, ooh, shimmer gold. I have a berry purple if you guys want to go colorful. I have shimmer silver. I don't want blues and pinks. I mean, pink would be kind of cute. That's marvelous. Ooh, I have pesto if you want that green. <laughs> no, let's not do that. A brown. Eucalyptus, ooh, Storm. I would love that in Storm. Um, I don't want to do green. We have Current Jam. I think these are the colors I would consider for this, I think. What do you guys think? I'm really worried about this. I'm almost to the point to where I want to tape the sides down <laughs> to keep it from bleeding because the um, just the seam on there is um i think if i go slow and just go straight down at the bottom we'll be okay we have a sylvie surface that's the same size and it's perfect debbie says storm what do i do with the storm okay so let me get that storm out and you could use our small squeegees um oh vanessa says storm too look at this we have this and then you guys also have to pick a color for our October 31 because I'm either going to put it down at the bottom or right up here. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'm going to get my Storm ink. Now, always make sure you have a hand wipe or something for your hands because you don't want to accidentally touch something and um, stain it because this is not, you know, water soluble like our, our paste is. So I'm always looking at my fingers to look at what I'm touching, okay? And then I'm just gonna take one of my stir sticks. This is gonna go quick, you guys. 
Hopefully I have enough storm. I need to do some ink shopping. Hmm. Maybe I know what the special, <laughs> the deal of the day is going to be, guys. I'm just going to put some on here. And anything that's too much, I can just put back in that jar. Okay, so I'm going to go like this. I'm going to take my four-inch handled squeegee. Oh, maybe. It looks like my screws came loose. Let me tighten that up. And the one thing you don't have to worry about is, do I need a wrench? <laughs> you don't have to worry about, there we go. You don't have to worry about um, your ink drying. It's not going to dry on its own. And look, I'm just going to pull it right down onto the pillowcase with this. Look at that. See how smooth that is? Oh, I think I got an air bubble in there. I went too hard. You don't want to go too hard. I'm too excited. Just like that. I hope I have enough. Because this is a lot of screen. Mm, let's see. I'm going to take a smaller squeegee and try to get that top part. So I'm going to put some more on here. Oh, that was a big glob. I'm going to grab one of my small squeegees and just kind of go like this. This needs a more gentle touch. This transfer is old. <laughs> there we go. I'm just going to smother nicely. Look at all of those skulls. You could really have fun with this and get crazy with the colors that you do. If you want, if you really wanted to. There we go. I'm just going to go like this. I'm just going to keep going down. I'm getting nervous because I keep hearing the air. But the way this pattern is, I kind of feel like it would be okay if there was a little bit of um, bleed from from it not sticking so well. Just because of the, um, the pattern in it. We will see. We will see. Maybe I'll just go in my vendor event and totally mess up my project and cry. I'm totally kidding. There's no crying and chalking. Okay. I'm gonna just go like this to get the corners now. And um, with the pillow, sometimes the fabric can really soak up your ink. So you may need to go back over some spaces as you peel slowly. But I'm just gonna come through and smooth all of this down. I have no idea if this is going to. <laughs> I'm just going to get just like this. So this is the same way you would do a t-shirt. Um, for smaller things and tote bags, you can just cut your um, ink mat into any shape you need that would fit what you're using. Again, or you can use cardboard, anything like that. Okay, now the ends of this is not sticking because of that zipper and I didn't mask it off. So it might just be a spooky or the fluffing of my pillow insert might just hide that as I fluff it at the bottom. We, we will see. Oh, I just see. Oh, guys, look, I wasn't paying attention. I totally put my fingers on the pillow. I'm so worried about messing it up. I messed it up anyway, but that's okay. What you can do if you get something like that is go ahead and take your disinfectant wipe and if you wipe it quick enough you can get that off of there or this is such a pretty um that's coming right off there we go it almost makes it look halloweeny so just pay attention as you're going across there we go and then now we're completely covered with that ink right i'm just gonna see if i can get more of this off right here oh that's pretty i just took a peek I'm just gonna go like that. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at the top and just take a look. And if there's any places that I see is really soaking up, oh, ooh, this is pretty. If I notice that there's any place that I feel needs a little bit more ink because that fabric is just soaking it up, look, I'm just gonna add some. I'm just gonna add some. 
just to give um, a better a better take. And then I'm going to check my hands again. This is a really big silk screen, so just a little bit more. And look at here. Oh my gosh, you guys. See right there? I'm going to add a little bit more. So I'll just put it back down. This looks so good. I'm going to add some right there. I'm going to make sure my hands stay clean. This looks so cool, you guys. Let's keep going. It looks like it's just a lot of the edges because of that curve. Oh, it's so good. Look at this. I'm just going slow and I'm taking a peek to make sure there's no areas I need to retouch. This pattern is so cool. Oh, and the bottom is even perfect. The part that I thought would mess up, it's perfect. Okay. Now I'm just gonna put this over here at the sink and put some water on it. Cause I know I wanna use this again because I probably wanna make a matching pillow. You always want to wash your ink off um, pretty quickly, pretty quickly. Um, you don't want your ink to dry in that screen because um, it takes a long time for ink to dry. But if it clogs up your silk screen, you're not going to be able to use it for chalk. So here we go. I'm just going to take my ink supplies and move it away because we are going to heat set this pillow. I'm going to show you how to do that so that we can do our little patch to go on here. And I want you guys to start thinking about um, what color we should do that patch in, okay, that October 31st. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my um, dry tool because ink will not dry on its own, but this is still really wet. Your ink is gonna be a little tacky. So I'm just gonna dry it a little bit before we heat set it. Now how you heat set, you're going to want to either use your iron or if you have a heat press, whether a clamshell or a cricket press, you're going to want to use that. I'm just going to go like this and then we'll move on to our patch next and then kind of heat set it all. This looks so good. That has to dry because I put some stuff on it. Hopefully I didn't stain it with it. Let that dry a second and then we are going to heat set that. I'll show you how. But let's grab that patch we're going to do on top. And again, this is our new iron on patch. There's a backing on here that you can iron on. And I'm just going to take whatever I want to iron on and put it right in the middle. This says October 31st. Now I see why people are so excited that that orange peel came back because this would look super cute in orange peel. And I'm just pressing down to make sure I have no bubbles. That's a very big screen there. Um, now, what do you guys think? Should we do this in black velvet? Should we do it in, should we do that in black velvet? I think that would be good. Black velvet right on top. Oh, purple, purple. Sherry says purple. So we can do berry. I don't think, that's the only purple I have. How's that, Sherry? The berry? We'll do the berry. That would look really good with that um, storm, wouldn't it? That's ink, right? Yeah, that's ink. So I'm just gonna take this and I think this is a good idea. Look at this. You be patient. Ooh, Vanessa says black velvet. Um, Sherry answered first. <laughs> Maybe the matching one, we'll use another one and use black velvet. But let's go. I kind of like this purple idea. Berry is beautiful. So we'll put this right on here. And then I'm going to take my small squeegee and just go over this um, silk screen just like this, making sure I kind of get it all in there and then scrape any excess away with my squeegee. Berry is beautiful. I don't use berry enough. 
And it's my only purple in ink. I need to go through my inks and replenish them. Um, I have had these inks for at least three years. Other than my black velvet, because I know I've gone through multiple jars, because that's my favorite one, <laughs> is the black velvet. Okay, so we have it like that. Now I'm gonna check my fingers to make sure I don't have any ink. And then let's take a look. Oh, I love it. That was a good pick, Sherry. You could even see the little distress in there from the transfer. I'm just gonna walk this over to my sink. Okay. That turned out great. I'm just gonna move this ink stuff away so I don't stain anything. And then I'm just gonna surface dry it because we are gonna have to heat set that. I guess the big question, um, it is, Sherry, it is very similar to the storm. They go perfect together. Um, is, should we put this in the center of the pillow? Should we put this? I don't know if I have a pillow form down here for this. I know I have it upstairs. Let's go ahead and get this back and make sure that we have a lot of the surface dry. I'm just gonna pull that away. Now this is a lot of ink and I it's still wet. Ink is gonna be wet until you heat set it, okay? So you can still smudge it. There we go. And then I'm gonna remove this from inside. But what I love about it is once you heat set this with your iron, it just melts right into the fabric. Um, and it is so, pretty and it feels so nice. It feels like, you know, it was just printed right onto your canvas or your pillowcase. Now, ideally you really want to let this dry for 24 hours. I get very impatient and sometimes you want something right away. This is so cute. So just keep that in mind. Um, let's pretend time lapse 24 hours just passed. See, it's very, I just touched it and it was very wet, but I was trying to move it down. We may need to dry it a little bit more so that we can press it. But it will stay tacky until you heat press it. Now, if you are inking on a mug or a glass or um, any type of um, inking, like a casserole dish, something that you want to keep permanent, then what you're going to do is you are going to put it in your cold oven. You're going to set your oven for 350 and you're going to bake it at... 45 minutes, they say 30 minutes to 45 minutes. I usually leave mine for an hour for good measure. You don't want to overheat it by too high of a temperature though. And then turn your oven off at the end, let it come back to room temperature. And then you can put those in the dishwasher. I have a piece of parchment paper here. Um, so I'm going to put this right over top like this and we are going to start heat setting this because we're running out of time. I'm going to put it right. Oh, you know what? I forgot my, not underneath. Let's put this. I don't want to, here we go. Ugh. My parchment paper is so stuck to this right now. I hope I didn't ruin it. So yes, you really should wait 24 hours or at least try to dry your ink. So and right now I'm just pretty much um, crossing my fingers that it doesn't fade too much because I didn't follow instructions, but we only have so much time for this video. And you wanna iron front and back, whether you're using an iron or a heat press, you wanna do front and back. This will just take us a few minutes here. I love this patch, look at that. Um, and this does have this adhesive on the back. I do have to peel that off and then iron and that's gonna be permanent on our pillow. There's 
one part. I'm just gonna move it over. <laughs> oh. So nice. I'm moving slowly here because um, it's a little wet underneath and it's sticking. Um, not where I heat pressed it, that pressed it right onto the pillowcase. But, so inking is very fun to do. Some people are very intimidated by it because um, it is different than chalking, that's for sure. Um, chalking, you can wash it away. Ink, if you make a mistake on the fabric, you can't always wash it out. So, does anybody here decorate with pillows? I love pillows. Love, love, love pillows. Trying to see, because I may have to use a different sheet, because the bottom part of this, it did stick to. Um, so I'll just grab another sheet. And go like this. There we go. Um, but I love pillows on the couches. Oh, Debbie never saw me ink. This has been great. It is so easy, isn't it, Debbie? And if you were just doing a t-shirt or a tea towel or something like that, we would have already been done. Of course, I chose this big old pillow to do. Um, but you can do small ink projects. I like inking um, little bags like this. Like you could even do um, inking for teacher's gifts. Um, you don't have help. Well... We have the perfect transfers, Debbie. You know, all those d size transfers fit our pillowcases perfectly. And the good thing is you don't have to store a bunch of pillows. All you have to do is have your cover, um, and then you can just do a bunch of pillows and then just keep um, changing which ones you have the, the filling in, right? And then all you have to do is have like a bin um, or a 31 tote from one of these vendor groups. Keep all your pillowcases in and just change them out for any season or any reason. I'm just gonna do this. So should we put that patch in the middle or in the corner? What would be cute with that patch? No Halloween pillows, Debbie. So I do have one of those clamshell heat presses up in my office, and I would have used that to be much faster, but this is what I have down in my chalk area. Um, what was that noise? Ooh, maybe my chalk couture order came early. <laughs> I just heard like the, the back. Um, Sherry says the corner, like the bottom corner, Sherry? I need to see. Oh, I see a pillowcase over there. Hold on. I mean, a pillow fell. Hold on. I'm going to go grab it while this is ironing. Let me know if something catches on fire. Now you could get these from your local craft store. You could get these pillow forms from Amazon. I think this one might be from Ikea. No, this is not an Ikea one because it has like full instructions on there. <laughs> All right, one more area here. Then we'll flip to the back side. There's one area there that I need to iron a little better. Vanessa says corner also. Which corner? Vanessa, have you tried your inking yet? Ooh, I'm off of the mat. Off of the mat. Come on, Michelle. Get in the game. There we go. I think this one was from Amazon. I think this came out of... I had a Valentine's Day pillow that I took it off. Um, no. I have another Halloween one over here. That's what it came from. I'm starting to take out my Halloween stuff. And this is one of our retired transfers. Look how cool this one is. That's one was, oh, you know what? I don't have to make a matching one. I have a matching one. Look how cool this pattern is. Um, this was one of our chocolate tours, I think from two Halloweens ago. So I will have this matching set. I'll just put this with that. There's one area here that I want to really press. 
that has thick ink. And then I'm guessing that as we iron this patch on that pillow, um, as we iron the patch on the pillow, it's gonna heat set it at the same time. Bottom right, couple inches up. <laughs> Not yet, come on girl. <laughs> I can't wait to see. So yeah, I got some ink on this side right here, but you're not gonna be able to tell once the fluff is in. And I love that for these um, square pillows, chocolate um, they do put two in a pack. There we go. Look how beautiful this is. What do you guys think of this? Is this beautiful or what? I'm gonna just do the back. Oh, I got ink on the back. That's okay, that's the back. How did I, oh, I just did it right now on this thing. Always make sure, didn't I tell you? Always make sure you move all of your ink stuff out of the way, and I did not. Let me go put that in the sink. And I got some ink on the back. But it's the back, it's okay. <clears throat> oh. Hmm. Might be going over time a little bit, but I, I love this. Yes, isn't that school? I pull that out every year, Sherry. So I know it has, this has to be the third year um, when I made it. And then I remember pulling it out last year and then I will pull it again this year. And I think these both would go perfect together. We, in our um, saltwater tank room, we have two um, little leather chairs. I don't think it's real leather though. Two pleather chairs, I guess, that are recliners. And, um, what was I going to say? And I like to put pillows on them. So that was the squeegee. The squeegee got me. Oh gosh. Phew. Don't look at that. <laughs> Two more sections here and then we will do our patch. We won't tell there is ink on the back if you don't. Well, no one's going to see it where I'm putting it. So, yeah. Mm, you could even move this around if you want. But you should do both sides. You could even ink both sides. You know, I could ink this pattern over that. You won't even be able to tell. All right sticking to there because that ink is still a little tacky, I guess. Let me see. So really, the, the only thing that I would say that you should do, oh, your pudges came today, yay! Um, the one thing that you really should do is um, let it fully dry before you heat press. We did not do that. I am not a good designer. I don't follow the rules. But um, if you want to follow the rules and do it the right way, then I should have let this um, pillowcase um, sit out for at least 24 hours, let it dry all the way through. Um, it may still be a little tacky, but this is why it's sticking to my, um, what do you call it? My mat. All right, one more section and then we can do that patch. This is amazing. So if you don't have a heat press like this or one of those clamshell presses, iron at the setting of whatever you inked on for four minutes on both sides, okay? I know four minutes does seem like forever, but it's not, it's not. Um, and then make sure you iron both sides for four minutes, okay? If you guys are wondering what Teresa is talking about, I do have an Etsy shop called um, Laser Pudgies. Um, it is my Etsy shop with my Glowforge that I make little wood cutouts to match our transfers. It just gives you that extra dimension and are fun to play with, okay. So you guys said the bottom right a few inches up. So would you say like right here? 
because we have to take account for the fluff and I don't want it to be hidden with all the fluff. So let's go ahead and take off that backer sheet and you can see that glossy side, that's gonna be what accounts. Oh, you know what? I should have done it this way at an angle. I didn't even think about it. Um, but let's put it like right here. What about right here? And this covers that all good. This is amazing. It feels so smooth. I was just checking to see if there's any um, tackiness, but it's really good. This is so good, guys. And then also with the patch, you want to do both sides. This is so much fun. This is, okay, I'm gonna say, a big pillow like this might be a little more advanced. If you have a design, um, like say you wanna do this flower pot, not flower pot, watering can. You could do this watering can. That's one little design there that you can do. And then you could take some florals and hot glue them or sew them on to have like a 3D embellished pillow. And that would be super, Fast. So what they say is if you lift up the corners and it lifts up, then to iron it some more, but that is stuck on there. That is amazing. Let's go ahead and do the back. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite. So yeah, there's so much you can do. Um, there's so much you can do with the ink. Mm -hmm. I need to ink more shirts because Julie always wears cute little shirts that she inked. <laughs> if this is your um, first time seeing the Chalk Couture, then make sure you check out these other videos because I, I do have a video at 6 and a video at 8 tonight um, on some of these groups here um, with the showcase. And um, one of them, I posted both of the links on my Facebook page. So Chalk Couture with Michelle, you can find the links. Um, and they're awesome, amazing vendor groups. And I'm gonna be doing some other projects. Look at this. Look at that. And look, I cannot peel this off. Well, I guess I really could if I tried. We'll let that heat set. It's really hot. No, it's not coming up. Nope. That is so cool. Now let's go ahead and put our pillow in. Now, I don't have the right size pillow. <laughs> you should really get a pillow fill that's a couple inches bigger than your case to make it super fluffy. I didn't know that when I first started. So a lot of these pillows that I have um, could be fluffier. Totally could be fluffier. Look how cute this is. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm just going to fluff it a little bit. I'm going to zip this up. Well, actually, this might be the, the one I got that actually is the right size because it is nice and pudgy. Okay, you guys ready for this? Oh my god. You guys ready for this? This is so stinking cute. Look at this pillow. I'm glad I put it where I did because you see how fluffy it is. It kind of moves it down because of all the fluff. You can probably try to move some of the fluff to the top. It is so cute. Look at this pillow. Ah. Now, because I heat set this, I can now put this cover in the washing machine and wash it in case I get um, any Halloween blood. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, anything like that. But look how pretty that, let me put it back underneath here because I feel like maybe you can see it better down here. Do you see how good that um, berry goes with that storm? Look at that. Look at this cute pillow. I can't even imagine what they would charge in the store for a big pillow like this that is designed this way. And you can customize it any way you want to. You can even put um, your name on here with the fonts that we have or all of that. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm gonna leave my um, link right here if you wanted to go and take a look at all the other products. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Chocotour.com. And I really went over time. I'm going to get in trouble. But thank you guys for joining me. Okay? See you next time.